So you've just picked out that brand new flat screen TV. You've taken it to the checkout, and on your bill you see something called an environmental fee. What's that, you might wonder? That's a fee charged by the Alberta Recycling Management Authority to collect and recycle that electronic device. You see, electronic waste, or e-waste as it's called, is a fast-growing part of the overall waste stream. And that's not hard to see. New electronic gadgets of all types are constantly coming on stream, and the old ones need to be handled responsibly. Electronics can contain toxic materials, like mercury and lead. They sure shouldn't be thrown into a landfill. So, what do you do with your old TV, or your old computer, or old microwave? In Edmonton, you can bring them to an eco station at no extra charge. And that goes for all your electronics. Pretty well anything with a battery or cord can be brought here. But what happens then? Where does all the e-waste go from the eco station? They come here to a place called GEEP. That stands for Global Electric and Electronic Processing. It's a really big place, about the size of a football field. They can pretty well recycle anything in your computer, your television set, your cell phone, microwave oven, you name it. Pretty well anything with a battery or a cord can be recycled here at GEEP. GEEP is like a mining company. But instead of digging down into the earth to dig up natural resources, they dig into our old electronics. Let's go see how they do that. Let's start with computers and computer monitors. The first step is to remove the plastic shell. Once the plastic shell has been removed for recycling, they begin to work on the cathode ray tube itself. They snip away the guts of the material by snipping away these wires. They put that aside, and you're left with the cathode ray tube. And then they remove this yoke you see here, which is primarily a lot of copper. Come take a look at this container that's filled with these yokes. Now here's a good one. Look at all that wire that's in there, all that copper wire in there. That's really a great natural resource. What a shame it would be to waste that natural resource by throwing it into a landfill. So we remove the yoke, that's all gone, and you're left with the cathode ray tube itself. Now it's really, really heavy, mainly because there's a lot of lead and glass in this tube. So they are going to send this to a company that will separate the two materials and recycle both. Now that leaves us with all this interesting stuff here, which goes on into the rest of our process here, at, here in Edmonton for further recycling and separation. Okay, so now we've got the guts of these machines, things like circuit boards, switches, and wires and stuff. And we need to break this kind of stuff apart even more. And the way we do that, you've got this great big heavy chain, and it's even longer. It's inside this building behind me there called the chain shredder. And big long lengths of chain like this rotate really, really fast at high, high speed and smash this material apart, smash it apart so that they can break it apart for further recycling down the road. Look how beat up that piece of metal is. The first thing that happens after it comes out of the chain shredder is an electromagnet removes all the ferrous material, the stuff that's magnetic, can be removed that way. It goes up this conveyor belt, outside the building, into a large bin where it's stored for further recycling right here in Edmonton. Once we remove the ferrous material, we also remove aluminum through something called an eddy current separator. That goes off for further recycling. Now that leaves us with a bunch of smaller stuff that really has to be sorted out by hand now. So here we've got these folks working along this line. This guy's removing plastics for recycling. Copper wiring goes down this chute here. Over there, he's removing stuff that we can't recycle at all, landfill material. He's recycling aluminum. 
And over here, they're recycling circuit boards. And also, they recycle stuff like brass and copper too. Once the boxes are filled with all that material those folks were sorting out, they're ready for further processing. For example, take this box of circuit boards here. Did you know that they're just filled with gold and silver and platinum and all sorts of really expensive, really precious metals? As a matter of fact, there's more gold in a ton of these circuit boards than there is in a ton of gold ore that they dig up from the earth. Once all those precious metals are taken out of these circuit boards, the stuff like the gold, the silver, and the platinum, it can actually be used to make new electronics and new computers and new circuit boards. That's closing the recycling loop. So as you've seen, there's all sorts of valuable material here. And it's way better for us to recycle those materials safely than to waste that valuable material. Far better for us and far better for the planet.